Hello everyone and welcome back to another siege battle and we're back again at Athens. Uh, this one sent in to us by Emperor Kandikatsu. Uh, it is a 3v3, obviously from the perspective of the defenders. So that being said, let's get into the players on the field of battle. Quickly go over army comps and then we'll start. So we have Emperor Kandikatsu playing as RDI, uh, Joshua playing as Iceni. And then we have Corndog, 1244, playing as Masasily. Uh Attacking, we have <laughs> Unscented Lemons playing as uh, Samiria, Chimeria, however you prefer to uh, pronounce it. Uh, Troll playing as Sparta. And hmm, Vano, Vanotoa, I think that's how I say it. Vanotoa playing as Egypt. So let's, uh, we'll go over the defenders first, and then we'll go over the attackers. I have, uh, my brain slowed down for half a second. Ooh, look at this. I didn't even notice this. Oh, man. If they could just, like, real quick. Yeah, but, I mean, eh. All right. All right I'm getting distracted. All right. Uh, we'll start with Iceni. Work our way around. So, <laughs> I just noticed it. Holy shit. Uh, okay. So... <laughs> Just a bunch of ambushers. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, sword band, sword band, sword band. Right, we got a bunch of slingers up here. Uh, thankfully, it doesn't look like Sparta has any artillery over here, so he doesn't really have to worry about the slingers getting attacked via the wall being knocked down. Uh, we got some heroic nobles in the back, including heroic noble Jen, who is triple gold chevroned up. Wow. Okay. 62 melee attack, 87 melee defense, and 87 base morale. Jesus Christ. Uh, some more. Uh, we got Druidic Nobles, and that looks like the long and short of it. Moving on to Misesli, we have a unit of armored Numidian riders. There's a cohort, 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 and cohort. We got some more. Lots of cohort. Legionaries is cohort, cohort, cohort. Uh, we have up top, let's see, slingers, 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 and slingers. Uh, then we have two, oh, Cthulhu tribesmen. All right, these guys are, they're, like, they're good, but they're not good. They're good because they get a, a nasty charge bonus, 36. Melee defense isn't, like, terrible. Uh, they have no armor, though. That's the only thing. Uh, and then, of course, two Numidian Riders here. Uh, I don't know if I would have put them here. Because they're going to get chewed up pretty quickly. Especially with all the, the javelin fire that's going to come from these Thorax Swords. And the Thorio Spear. Uh, anyway, moving on. RDI's got some Slave Slingers hanging out on the walls. Slave Slingers down there. Let's see, we got some Illyrian Marines. Marines, Marines, Marines. Marines, Marines more slingers poised and ready to sling up onto the wall. Illyrian hoplites uh, double gold chevron and then Illyrian noble hoplites uh, triple bronze chevron I wonder what the, the funds were for this um, did he upgrade any of these guys? No, okay alright, Sparta, Sparta has brought with him Let's see, two Spartan pikemen, Royal Spartans, okay, okay, heroes of Sparta, naturally, Royal Spartans, some Citizen Cav, personally would not have brought that, uh, although they'll probably be pretty good against the, um, the Numidian Riders. Uh, let's see, we got some more Spartan Hoplites, Gorgos, <laughs> uh, okay, this is... Either glitched in Gorgo's skirmishers, or he is using the Wrath of Sparta, Sparta. But I think he glitched them in. Mercenary Cretan archers, mercenary Cretan archers, mercenary. Yeah, he he glitched in these uh, the skirmishers over here. Where were they? Right here. No, where were they? Where did I, I just saw them, and now I just lost them. Oh, here they are. Yeah. Ah, well, what are you going to do? Um, then, 
Egypt has Thurio spears, thorax swords, uh, lots of thorax swords. We got some Hellenic World Guard, Numidian spear, Levy Thurio spears, Galatian swords, Galatian swords, Galatian Royal Guard, Hellenic World. Do you have two? No, just the one or three. Uh, yeah, it's just the two. Uh, having a brain fart here. Sorry. Uh, Glacier Swords, Egyptian Infantry, I don't know if I would have dumped, uh, chevroning these guys up, but, you know, melee defense isn't too bad, actually, uh, for a low-tier unit, that is, at least. Uh, and then we've got Glacier World Guard, Cretans, Cretans, uh, Elephants, and Egyptian Cab, does he really only have two archers? Let's see, that box. Um... Oh, yeah, he also has the list. Yeah, Palmate Cap. He really only has two archers. That's. Well. I guess maybe he wanted more infantry units. Oh, well. Uh, and then uh, Chimeria, Samaria, whatever. Hoplites, Hoplites. We got heavy archers. Uh, and then we got Noble Infantry, Noble Infantry, Noble Infantry. Oh, Jesus. Ballista, more hoplites, 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 and hoplites. Uh, just straight up hoplites, huh? We didn't even bring any axe warriors or nothing. I don't know that they're going to have a good time. Because these are just regular hop now. All right, well, we'll see, right? We'll see. All right. So, let's get this underway. Here we go. Tried to run off the bat. Looked like they managed to kind of catch them. Ooh, that's a lot of projectiles, though. He's gonna get into the Gorgo skirmishers, and these guys are gone. And they're gone. Um, but I mean, the way that these guys are all just set up, like, this is gonna be a, a smorgasbord for RDI's uh, Ballista. He's gonna get so many kills. I might even start trying to shoot at the elephant, too, just to get him to go nuts. Uh, oh, you're just letting your tribesmen get shot at. What are you doing? Get them in there. Come on. Oh, at least these guys are still hidden, so they don't know that these guys are here. Ugh, 30, only 30 kills. Yeah, you should have put them somewhere else. What are you doing with your cat? Where are you going? That's weird. Uh, so anyway, already up to 116 kills. Finally started to use flame shot. Uh, but I mean, the, the slave slingers are just gonna, the tribal slingers and slave slingers are just gonna go to town on these guys. They're not going after the Cthulhu tribesmen anymore. They are still getting, like, hit a little bit. 212 already so far. Looks like he's trying to go after the elephants. Uh, he's not going after them. Uh... He's not going after the general, uh, typically because it's, I guess it's kind of considered like bad form to go to, to Gen Snipe right off the bat. Jeez. I mean, it's unfortunate they lost this, but also they wasted so. <gasps> yes, the elephant's going crazy. Kill, kill. Um, yeah, it's it's unfortunate that he lost to Gatuli tribesmen, but on the flip side, they wasted. Quite a few volleys trying, like, in, in an effort to get rid of these tribesmen. So it's like, well, and these guys are winning at the moment. Again, they have pretty good melee defense uh, and then a decent charge bonus. Uh, looks like he popped Frenzy Charge too, so that charge bonus bumped up to 56. These guys are, yeah, they're going to start to lose soon, but how many kills so far? 319! Wow, with wall artillery. And the elephants are dead. I wonder if he... Oh, he must have... Um, he must have killed them. He must have suicided his elephants because they were just wrecking everything. This is why, especially on Athens, just, like, bunching up your troops right here, this is such a terrible spot for two factions to attack. Not so bad if you have one faction over here, and then you have two factions over here, or two factions over on the far side. It's not so terrible, especially if you can time this assault correctly uh, to coincide over here. Um, 
but yeah, th this many troops over in this is going to get bottled up and they're just going to get stalled out. Uh, it's actually only a, a, about a, a 25 minute game. Uh, so let's see, how many kills? 319 kills. Jeez, man. And that's because they just, he, I mean, look how Egypt lined up his troops. Like, that's like the best, you know. As a defender with wall artillery, if you see your, your enemy lining up his troops like this, you're in heaven. And this guy's still, I guess he, his Levy 30 spears aren't on, um, they're on auto fire, so they're just firing. Slingers are still going to town on these Cretan archers. The Cretans aren't even firing back, they should be. Or they should just be firing at something for that matter. Because he's, he's slowly but surely he's losing unit. Let's see if they took any losses here. He might have lost a couple guys from the wall falling. Slave singers haven't lost anything yet. Uh, but yeah, they're they're not you know trying to assault anything over here. These this isn't cat. They might get the rear charge here, but they're gonna lose. Same with these these hoplites. These Spartan. Oh no! Actually, well yeah. I mean, if you're doing this, you you deserve it. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Yep, they're gone. Yeah, you better get your pikes out of there. You're gonna lose them real quick. <laughs> uh, I see he's taking some shots at. Uh, what was he going after? I honestly, I uh, he might be going after the. Uh, yeah, that's it. Go after these heroes of Sparta. You want to get them out of there? Sparta has charged right in. Spartan hoplites up against some desert cohort, desert legionnaires. Uh, and they're kind of getting surrounded a little bit here, a, a little bit. I mean, if, um, yeah, with this, he's bringing the slingers around. I guarantee you these slingers are going to start firing into this mass right here. And that's going to start to prove to be a huge problem for Sparta, actually. Uh, again, they've, Ch Chimera over here is, what is Chimera doing? He taking down. He's trying to take down the tower. He's not going to have enough ammo, though. Well, he's manually firing. So maybe if he manually fired at the wall, then there's a strong possibility that yeah, he has enough ammo to take out the tower. Which not a bad idea. You know, you're getting rid of a, a hassle in the long run. But also at the same point, um, when you capture the gate, you won't have those arrow towers working for you. Egypt has gotten into the mix with this Hellenic Royal Guard already, which is a... Yeah, no, it's a terrible idea. Here come, <laughs> here come the, the Britain Slingers. They're definitely going to start slinging into this Hellenic Royal Guard, and these guys are going to start taking heavy losses. Galatian Royal Guard is actually in the mix as well and is already losing decisively. Only eight kills down to 91 men up against some Galat or Desert Cohort. They should really be doing a lot better than what they are right now. It's, this is kind of a shame. Meanwhile, Lyrian Marines and Slave Slingers are getting shot at by the Cretans, when in reality, the Cretans should probably be trying to help out the Galatian Royal Guard and the Hellenic Royal Guard. Um, yeah, and the Misesli is just having the time of their life over here, holding back Sparta. Egyptian infantry getting sent in, they're gonna, yeah, immediately they're already losing decisively. Uh, Chimera, however, over here is just I don't know. They're at a, they have a, you know, an assort, a chartreuserie board, and are trying out an assortment of wines and cheeses. What are they doing? I don't know. It. I can understand a uh, strategically holding back an army while the other two, while your other two allies assault the walls and, and put pressure on the defenders, right? I can get that. I understand that. Usually, the person who'd be holding off on attacking would be over here. This would be a good spot for you to hold off, keep a, a, a faction in check, one of the defenders in check, so they can't pull away, while the two other attackers assault the walls, put a heavy amount of pressure on the one or two factions over here defending the walls and hopefully you cause them enough casualties that the faction over here has to start shifting troops over and then the single faction that's here the single attacker that's here can then start to press forward and really cause some stress for the defenders but 
they're yeah now they're moving up and if he's if he thinks he's gonna make his way through this one oh not a bad idea firing into the rear of these troops but if he's mad he's better off just clicking to fire rather than trying to manually fire into these uh into the backs of these desolation areas and touch a cold hearts meanwhile back over here what's going on i seen he's moving forward sparta is going to be caught with their pants down if they're not careful he actually took his heroic nobles out wow that uh not that it's a bad thing, but it's going to take them forever to get back around over here. And by the time that they get over here, these guys are either A, going to be inside, or they're just not going to exist anymore. Uh, Sparta, for the most part, uh, most of his army's gone. In my, like, in my opinion, it, 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 I mean, granted, he still has several units hanging about. But the main assaulting part of his army is gone the first those first wave of troops that he sent in they don't exist anymore um and even with the backup from egypt it didn't matter i mean even egypt's galatian royal guard is they're hanging on for dear life there's 45 of them left and they only have 38 kills hellenic royal guard only 17 kills there's 99 of them left they're losing decisively they're probably taking fire from whether it's an infantry unit or something uh, meanwhile, Iceni is just putting in an insane amount of pressure over here. Uh, Potome, Cav, trying to get a charge off. And, oh, just getting decimated. Smartly, Iceni charged through jabs, pulled back, and then charged again. So he's basically cycle charging just to get that jabby toss off on the Potome, Cav, so that their charge wouldn't be as impactful because there's less of them. I mean, we saw that by the time that they got done throwing their jabbies, but there was about, you know, 12 of the Potomac have left. Now they're down to eight. Uh, Sparta's bringing, this is, I, this is a, a mistake. He's moving his, his archers away from the main fight. Now his uh, assaulting army isn't gonna, good, blah, is not going to be supported. Egypt only has two archers, one of which appears to be gone already. Uh, his Thurios, his, you know, uh, Levy Thurios spears are definitely out of jabbies. And these mercenary Cretan archers at 102 kills would probably be out of ammo soon. Uh, it's just, it's not looking good for the attackers. And again, Chimeria is just, what? Oh, why are you, oh my god. Why are you burning down the gates? What is going on? on here I'm accepting the fact that they're probably a new player I'm accepting that fact all right the ballista is definitely out if I'm RDI I'm just gonna start shifting troops over and just heavily fortifying this whole section right here and there you go He's starting to move some troops over because he doesn't need to be over here they brought towers and they're not even using them Sparta trying to hold back this uh, assault from Iceni over here. Potomac Cav, 29 kills. There's only eight guys left. Uh, Glacian Royal Guard got pulled out. Only nine kills. Nine kills. Their Atlantic Royal Guard General is now getting attacked by the Slave Slingers here. Illyrian Marines getting shot at, but it's actually the it's Tribal Slingers that are getting fired at. So smart on Chimeria for firing at the Tribal Slingers. Masaisley needs to get his slingers off the wall and move them to another location so that they can be of some use. Sparta and Egypt are still just having such a difficult time though. And again, it's because both factions decided to go through these tiny, tiny choke points. This has left the, the defenders only two areas to really seriously defend, and that's this and this. And they don't have to go anywhere else. RDI has his slingers up on this building right here. Uh, I mean, if, if Chimeria had any sense, if he had still uh, had ammo left, he should have been aiming for this building instead, because if he could have destroyed this building, it would have gotten destroyed, knocked over, and then the troops standing around it would have taken some uh, losses. And then, of course, RDI wouldn't have been able to get his slingers up on the wall over here. And now look. Uh, Iceni is basically keeping the rest of Sparta in check. He's trying to bring out his Cretan archers, but he's just going to charge forward either his rogue nobles or his ambushers to scare them off. And then he's going to, you know, 
probably come back. It'll be a back and forth game until someone finally commits, whether it's going to be Sparta or Iceni. Uh, and honestly, if Iceni decides to commit to this fight, I, I, I don't think they have anything, honestly, to worry about. I mean, Sparta has a bunch of uh, Spartan pikes. They'll get taken care of pretty easily, and so will the heroes of Sparta. Uh, meanwhile, back over here, Egypt is almost non-existent. Egypt basically is non-existent. He still has Thurio Spears and Glacian Royal Guards. They should be up and over here, getting into the mix. He's pulling out his Thorax Swords. Well, I, I don't know why. You might as well just leave him in there, because now you're just abandoning Sparta completely. Um, uh, is still taking their sweet time. He's... <laughs> he was burning down the gate, and then he decided, Oh, wait, I have a battering ram. Let me go get that. And still, he's going to walk in here. And he's going to take some serious losses from the hot pitch that's going to fall. The Chimerian Heavy Archers are firing into these Illyrian Marines, which is like, yeah, it's unfortunate, but at the same time, like, it's kind of a cheap unit, sort of. Like, you're not firing at anything important. Um, you know, he, he should be over here firing at the Illyrian Hoplite, really. Uh, or, or, or trying to go for the Slingers, or, well. Oh, these guys are down. Only 50 kills. I mean, it's not a bad thing to go for, but I, I just think in the long run that Chimeria has more things to worry about than this. Uh, let's see, back over here. I see he's moving forward. Pressing forward some heroic nobles. Heroic. Um, doesn't even have... Oh, no, he does. But uh, these... Are they close enough to fire jabbies? Or is not, I, I was seeing this. They are. Wow, they got a good range on them, don't they? Or can they... Can they fire, like, Thurio Spears and uh, Iberian Swords? If somebody knows that, I'm sure... What am I saying? If somebody knows that, I'm sure any of you know that. I just never play as I see any, so I, I don't know that. Uh, I don't know that they can or cannot do that. Uh, if they can independently fire, like, uh, Thurio Spears. Anyway, back over here, it's just... <laughs> Egypt is not having a good day. Uh... I mean, these legionaries just put in a, a Herculean effort on holding back these troops. I feel like Misesli, like, barely had to really use anything. Uh, Chimeria finally has stepped into the ring, and even though these Illyrian Marines are depleted, Hoplites are losing because of all the backup that they're getting. Um, charging in. And they get a little bit of a charge bonus, but it's nothing fantastic. Uh, and yeah, uh, no, you need to... These, any of the hoplites that are coming in need to engage these guys so that they can't use their jabbies anymore. Meanwhile, back over here, uh, yeah, Sparta's done. I don't even think his general's still alive. It doesn't say that his general's dead, but I also don't see his... Oh yeah, he's over there. Uh, 111 guys left. Back over here. Here's a Sparta getting routed. Spartan Pikemen are going to be holding off these guys pretty easily, but once these heroes of Sparta go, there's going to be a gap there right here that they'll be able to explore. It looks like they're going to try and plug it with the mercenary Cretan archers. The 177 kills. It looks like they're out of ammo. Uh, but again, here's another gap right there that I see can exploit if they really wanted to. Flip somebody through and get in and around these pikes either side. Uh, so yeah, Sparta's going to be gone pretty quick. As for his general, yeah, the general's going to be taking some serious casualties pretty soon. Greens are still firing, but it really doesn't matter. It looks like Istini has noticed the gap that is here. He's going to use and exploit that. It looks like Sparta's going to try and stop, starp, try and starp him. But the uh, Spartan Hoplites, because there's only 58 of them left, are going to start losing pretty decisively. RDI is starting to move his hoplites away. Uh, probably, where's he going? He's just going to move him back. Um, probably going to try and stuff this as much as he possibly can. Illyrian Marines, definitely not the greatest. Not terrible. You know, just like, they're kind of like, meh. They're like, meh, it's all right. Uh, let's compare them, actually, to Thurio Spears. Better than Thurio Spears, that's for sure. Thurio Spears are... 
24, 25, 55, and 70, and they are 36, 25, 55, and 65. So armor's not as good, but melee attack is. And Egypt is just getting stuffed completely. Glacier Royal Guard only up to 35 kills, down to 33 men. Thorax Swords, let me throw your spears. Thorax Swords, they're just gonna lose terribly. You hate to see it. Hellenic Royal Guard, only 24 kills. Remember, they've been in here for at least, I don't know, a good 5, 10 minutes, and they only got 24 kills. And that's an expensive pike unit, too, for Egypt. Uh, Iceni has managed to break through. Uh, Miss Aisley actually decided to come out and join the party. Hopefully, he'll get some rear charges into. Yep, that's what it looks like he's doing. Get some rear charges into the back of the Spartan general. Iceni's chasing down some Gorgo skirmishers. We're going to end up getting into conflict with Egypt as well. Egypt's moving away as the Atlantic World Guard. Honestly, he's just turning them around, get them in pike formation, and take on the ambushers. They should probably win. Uh, Galatian World or Galatian Swords are going to take on Depleted Unit Desert Cohort. Uh, I think Cohort will probably lose actually because they're exhausted, they're depleted. Um, so, starting to see a little bit of breaking, uh, mostly from Egypt and Sparta. We got one unit of Massaceles breaking. Meanwhile, over here. Uh, Chimera is managing to make their way in. They're making some progress, but RDI is going to be able to step in and be able to stuff that pretty quickly once he moves in his Illyrian Hoplite. I mean, these guys aren't going to be able to, or are going to be able to hold off the Chimera Noble Infantry uh, pretty easily, especially since, I mean, they're double gold chevrons. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Sparta, for the most part, is Dunzo, General is still alive. Surprising, well, it's not surprising actually, but he is losing. Uh, Pikes up to 85 kills. I uh, just, oh, nope, they're gone. I thought they were gonna come back, but I was wrong. Uh, Sacely's Jen's riding around, 56 kills. Galatian, I don't know, they're starting to win, okay. They are winning slightly. Sacely needs to... He's got 107 kills, so he's definitely out of ammo. But looks like he's going to come around. Oh, he's going after the skirmishers, maybe. Not a bad thing to go for. These guys probably still have ammo. They're still... No, they don't. <clears throat> They're out. Chimera has now fully committed. Uh, but again, I mean, they're, they're just... They're now just getting stuffed completely. Gotcha! Um... So they're not going to make much more progress. I mean, especially since uh, both Sparta and Egypt are basically done for. The Sicily and um, Iceni are just going to be able to move their troops over here to support RDI. And it'll get crushed pretty quickly. 7 minutes, 23 seconds left in this one, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that cool YouTube stuff. Helps out the channel and it boosts my non-existent self-esteem. Uh, <laughs> Spartan General's about to... Ew, he held on, he held on. But for how long will he hold on? I see he's pulling back. General's still alive, 140 kills. Down to 92 men. Uh, Spartan Pikes are starting to lose. Earl Spartans probably will start to break up soon after the Spartan Pikes go. Yeah, and that's the last of Sparta's units. Egypt has only a handful of units left. There he goes. Meanwhile, over here, Chimera. Ooh, got into the Chimerian archers. Nice, good job. On Masasely. Managed to rack up 142 kills so far. <clears throat> These guys are out of ammo. 98 kills out of ammo. These guys still have ammo. 143. And these guys are out also. 98 and 98. Oh, that's funny. They both have 98 kills. And they're both out of ammo. It's unfortunate, though. I mean... Oh, he's out, too. 187. At least it's not 98. 
Yeah, I don't want to charge into these guys. They're heavily armored for archers, and they have spears. So, Egypt has been pretty much snuffed over here. He's going to get encircled by Iceni and whoever else decides to sally out. <clears throat> The Iceni's slingers have been set up. Actually, you can probably fire into the ba into the, uh, the back lines of Chimera over here, right over. Uh, that's really the only thing I don't like about slingers on defense is that. Ooh, pardon me. They're good for getting guys up on the wall when you have enemies on the wall, and especially if like you're on a sloped terrain that's like sloping downwards, you can set them behind your guys and have them fire into the crowd of enemies behind your line of troops, or you could usually sometimes get them to get the guys right in front. Uh, ooh, looks like they are firing. Oh, yeah, they're firing right into the sides of these guys. They're going to get some good kills here. Um, but yeah, having them fire like into, like let's say, uh, well, if this line was stretched out and these guys weren't the way that they were, uh, having them fire into them, would, I feel like you would end up hitting some of your men by accident. So Egypt is about to be gone. Losing decisively, we're getting rear charged. We don't have much left. Throw your spears up to 122 kills, though. I always like to see that. I usually, I used to rag on Thurio Spears a lot, but they, I mean, if you use them right, they can get numbers like that, you know? You know? All right, so <clears throat> two of the three attacking armies have been obliterated. That leaves Chimeria left. I see he's just gonna keep on pushing. I don't really blame him. They're gonna come around. They're gonna put some pressure. And uh, I think we're just going to charge right into the back of Chimeria if they can manage to get around in time before these guys either start to just sprout or uh, the time comes out. How many kills does that have? Only 43. Ooh, ooh pardon me. <clears throat> no, to be fair, he wasn't really trying to sh uh, kill anybody. So... Nice, Slave Slinger's up on the building still, firing into <clears throat> some of these hoplites. Pretty cool. Their Marines are holding on for dear life. Gotta, really, gotta hand it to them. Always use square formation. Uh, it is your friend. Yeah, here they come. <clears throat> Where does this guy go? I haven't got any screenshots yet, have I? I need some screenshots. Because it's important. Get organized! Cut it It's only a minute and 52 seconds left. Only a matter of time before uh, Chimeria <clears throat> collapses. They have an opening here, right there, right here, though. I don't know if they noticed it or not, but now it's getting plugged. Withdraw. So they, they had an opportunity and they kind of slept on it a little bit. Happens to the best of us. Not that it would really matter. I mean, I see he's coming around to charge into the back. So it's only a matter of time. Sorry, I'm, I'm currently digging through my lunchbox trying to find a car. I found it! Alright. Yeah, so again, to reiterate, when you are playing on Athens, the most viable places for you to attack, if it's obviously more than one person, here. Over here, of course. Although even this is like still 
kind of risque. Uh, mostly because if you have two people over here, usually one person's going to come over here, and this is just, it's, it's choke point central. I mean, here, and here, and here, here. So it, this is also pretty easy to defend. Uh, this, not so, this isn't as easy to defend, but still, you know, it's just, you got choke points still. But over here is just a nightmare. But, again, like I said, if you have two people over here assaulting these walls, oh yeah, mass routing, love to see it. General dead? Nah. Woo! Look at them, oh no, come on, stick around, don't die. Oh, it looked like he just died as I ended it. Alright, uh, but yeah. Two people here, one person here, all right? Never two people here. And especially don't line up your troops the way that Egypt and Sparta did because the defenders will have uh, just, you know, I mean, you saw this thing got like 300 and some odd kills. So again, two people over here, one over here, assault the walls, assault the walls, or hang out, wait a little bit. Wait for them to assault the walls. Depending on how well they're doing, you can speed up your attack or you can hold off for a little bit, hopefully forcing whoever you're going to be up against over here to shift troops to assist uh, his two allies over here. Uh, but that's, you know, hypothetical if everything goes according to plan, which, you know, uh, anything that can go wrong will. So... Let's start with Corn Dog 1244 getting 2,917 kills, almost making 3,000. Actually, getting the most out of everybody. So good on you there. 222 for his general, 30 and 15 for his Dominion Riders. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, I they they should have been. I don't want to say that they should have been placed somewhere else. Because honestly, I don't know where else he could have put them to be effective. Because wherever, you know, charging against uh, Sparta and Egypt, they were so condensed that it would have been hard to get, like, a good charge. So, I mean, I, again, he, he managed to disrupt their lines a little bit, caused them to use a lot of projectiles against these two units, which, honestly, he didn't need to do. Egypt and Sparta did not need to do that. They could have just had the infantry deal with these guys and would have been fine. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, 154, 101, 43, and 117 for these uh, Tribal Slingers. It's really good, actually. Um, 82, 190, uh, 112, 193, 303, 141, 249, 197, 319, and 234 for the Desert Cohort. So really done. Uh, really done. Really well done there. Uh, again, I think this must have been a pretty high funds game. 143 for the Desert Legionaries. And 72 and 0 for the Thule Tribesmen. It's unfortunate that they just got, like, focused down. But again, it's unfortunate, but it's not bad. Because it caused them to waste a lot of ammo focusing down this unit that could have easily been taken care of via, you know, a, a, an infantry unit. Joshua getting 1,951 kills, 175 for his gen, um, 64, 71, 140, 135, 112, 25, 179, 89, 46 for his ambushers, 91, 131, 190, and 30 for the uh, slingers, 33 for the druidic nobles, 112, 105 for the heroic nobles, and then 58, 105, and 60 for the sword band. Emperor Katsu getting 1,524 kills, 2 for his gen, 82, 34, 47, and 50 for the Slingers, 1, 47, 116, 151, uh, 91 for the Lyran Hoplites, and then 40, 91, 40, 127, 154, 114, 162, 80, 27, and 41 for the Lyran Marines. Unscented Lemons. Um, Took too long, bud. But it's alright. 1,734 kills. 55 for his gen, 43 for the ballista. 196, 98, 105, and 188 from the archers. 144, 98, 109, 131. 
114 for the Noble Infantry, 42, 64, 44, 51, 63, 45, 57, and 36 for the Hoplites. Again, I don't know why he didn't bring at least some Axemen, but what are you going to do? Troll, 1,722 kills, 172 for his Gen, 10 for his uh, Sism Cab, 167 for the Gorgo Skirmishers, 68. 81 and 67 for his archers. Uh, 20 and 83 for the Heroes of Sparta. Jeez. Um, 80, 103, 149, 74, 95, 82, 11, 43, and 25 for the Hoplites. And then 172 and 120 for the Pikes. So, Pikes did pretty good. And then Vonotoa uh, with 1,151 kills. 59 for his general. It's just should have done so much better. A zero for his uh, elephant. Zero for the Egyptian cab. 41 for the Paul Tal Ptolemaic cab. Paul Ptolemaic cab. <laughs> uh, 149 and 108 for the Cretan archers. 19 for his Egyptian infantry. Oh, he had two Galatian world guards, and they both only got 43 kills. Jesus Christ. Uh, 31, 79, 45 for the Galatian Swords, 24 for the Hellenic Rail Royal Guard. Again, this is such an expensive unit, and a good one, too, and it's sad that he only got that many kills. 61 for the Levithorio Spears, 31 for the Nubian Spearmen, 45, 41, 93, and 108 for the Thorax Swords, and 131 for Thorio Spears. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely... Don't do what Sparta in Egypt did and attack that small section of wall because you're just going to get yourself stuck in a serious choke point and it's not going to be fun. Well, anyway, guys, that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I did. So take it easy. Have a good morning, afternoon, day, night, evening. I think I said evening already, but whatever, I'll say it again. Whatever time it is, wherever you are while you're watching this, just have a good one. Peace out, guys.